Yeah, because since last time I know we both had our test guns, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you've got it booked now for really early, isn't it? Yeah. Seven, is it 7.23? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There is one before that, 7.13, so it could be worse. Okay. Um, do you mind doing that time or not? No, I don't no. mind. Okay, so I'm just in, not looking forward to it. But I yeah. don't really want to do it. We'll try and move it, but it's really mm. hard to get it moved. Because <clears throat> at the moment, you're looking at like, it's July now, looking at December to book another test, which is you know, four or five months away. Um, so, what you can do on that one is you can either, normally, we do an hour before the test, and then we go and do the test. If you don't want to start that early, you could start at seven because it's only 10 minutes to get there with the scores being off, it's quiet. Mm. So it's up to you. Um, if you want to do a bit more before you can, <coughs> or even half an hour before will be okay. But if you want to start at 7, so it's not too early, you can. Yeah, That's I up to you. choose that, but um, yeah, I'll keep looking if something gets cancelled. Yeah, or... uh, but I've looked, but at the moment there's just nothing at all. You can't mm. get one, they're not even booking tests at all, and they just stop booking them. Um, so yeah. So that's going to be a bit disrupted. But we're going to go over today because we've done pretty much everything now. The last time we only had, was it the approach to roundabouts at the end? Yeah. No, was it? We said about was it breaking more consistently, wasn't it? So you all slow down, slow down, slow yeah, down. Yeah, and I was having problems with the <coughs> gears last time, but I don't know why. So yeah, like on the roundabouts. Yeah. That was only one or two, there, wasn't it? <coughs> one yeah. or two times with the gears. So, um,. We're not going to have that too much because I, I, think, I don't think that's really a big problem. We only had one we stayed in third and it was a little bit slower when we turned left on a big roundabout. Yeah. <coughs> so what you've got to do is maybe come down to two. But it's not a big problem because it's not something you normally do. So uh, we'll see how that goes and see if that can fix itself. Sometimes you don't have to actually fix things. You can just have one or two mistakes. And if you work on it too much, it's going to make the problem worse. Um, the one thing we might as well go over today is bay parking, because I mentioned before we can do this on a Saturday. Because you won't be tested on this, but it's something you need to do when you drive on your own. We did it last time at the end, didn't we? We came yeah. back and parked between the two. Um, it's going to drive down the road that way, and there's a, the car park over there is completely empty. This one's pretty empty anyway. But um, we're going to give that a go. What else do you want to go over? Because really the aim of today is to get you ready for a mock test next time on Tuesday. So, what do you want to go over that you think could be better? Um, maybe when sort of things that are like junctions and stuff that are slightly uphill still, I still yep. struggle with that a bit. Um, those or like when you get to a roundabout actually and it's slightly uphill, that's quite hard, I think. Yeah, what's um, that? Because you have to, so you don't want to stop moving because then you'll have to put the handbrake on and then so you've got to come to first and then but don't stop completely and then yep. you've got to creep and it's quite well, hard. Okay. Because that was getting pretty good before, I know we had that better. It's getting better the last few times. So we'll try those things, we really know there's nothing specific we're doing. It's just generally bits of everything mm -hmm. and getting all as good as we can. So we're going to start with the bay parking. Um, I'll explain this briefly now, but all you do, like before, do you remember you got the line, where was it the line was on the window? Um. I can't remember. Oh no, it's sort of like here, isn't it? Yep. On your so side. So it's kind of there-ish, about mm. sort of half, well, about a third of the way up, up the under door. Um, you get the line there, left all the way, done. Looking behind is always like the people walking behind there. Mm -hmm. Well, if you want to go on the right, you just said the same thing, pull up the lines like there, sort of third of the way down your window, right all the way, and done. So it's quite easy to do. The mirror going down helps a lot because you can guide it in. Um, if you want to put it down there, you'll see what I mean. Nothing. It's, uh, so the other door is level with the white line, parallel roughly. Yeah. So you just kind of reverse, get in there. What you don't want to do is this. You can if you're tempted like around here, like the car in front. It's just what I'm saying you don't want to do. Um, unless you put a belt on. But you've got the bays like that. <coughs> what you can't do, again, you won't be tested on this, so it doesn't matter. But for the sake of the test, you can't come back and go like, through a bay. Because then you'd, you'd be hitting the car, if there's a car there. But okay. in reality, you can if you attempt to, you can do that, you can just pull in, clip the end. But I'm going to try and get it so you don't go over the end, it's like that, kind of wide. Um, again, we're not in your test because there are no bays here, but what you can't do <coughs> is people just turn left, go forward, start reverse back. You can't just go in and out the same bay. If you do get this on test, you've got to go forward, go down a bit, normally choose a different bay and go in a different one. So you can't just go forward back. 
inside okay. one because uh, that wouldn't be, wouldn't be any skill set. But I'm going to drive out of here to the little Sam Oval to go to the right, but then I'm going to go ahead <coughs> past the road where you normally turn left. Okay. So, what do you need to be careful of when you do that? Um, the, when I'm down there, I need to check the people walking up and cars turning. Yep. Left, their left. Yep, that's it. The one that come up from where you know, from where we come up at the end, they won't expect you to go over because people just don't. So you just almost stop dead. Good luck, and then ahead. Okay. Yep, let's go and get that go. So we're going to do bay parking junctions up here. Um, crossroads, lot to do more because we still didn't do loads of those. We did that okay. one last time outside the test centre. That oh, was good. Yeah. But um, we'll, it's just retrying everything now because our next one I want to do a mock test. Okay. The good thing about the test moving back is we've got, we probably won't need them, we've got room for up to another four lessons now, because we've got an extra Tuesday, the day of your test, the Saturday and the Tuesday, so if needed yeah. I've got more time, but that's, we're still going to try and get done within three, because we, we did originally have this one and the other two, so we're going to try and still get it done in that, that kind of time frame. Okay. So, like before, it's all pretty much up to you, I'm not going to speak much at all, I'm just going to sit back, apart from the bay parking and help on the junctions, well, junctions. but apart from that, it's up to you. Okay. Right, so let's go. Even things out like the windows where if you want your window up or down, that's all up to you. It's just. Okay. <laughs> you just go down that side. Because normally okay. that's the way you go down. So, like I say, just expect anyone from the left is <coughs> not going to expect you to go ahead. So you just want to clutch down, brake, let's go over this pole, and then brake and brake, expecting the worst. Still going straight, can we just go? Yep, that's good. Two's good as well because you're down the hill. So it pulls away nicely. So, that's good. Let's see if we get the bottom. Just pick any bay, um, <coughs> just pull up level with the line, back into a bay. We haven't done much of it, but any of these before, before the silver car. That's good. Because he bumps up pretty big. So you just pick a bay anywhere, there's one of these. Right, right, I need to slow down a little bit, it's not going to work. Right, Show sure all clutch up and roll, you just clutch down and roll, so you clutch up a little bit. Okay, it's like here. That'll do. I think. So, it's up to you, which one will that go into? I'm hoping it will go in that one. Which one? It's not this one, the one behind it. So that one with a sign should be that one there, it says three back. Oh, <coughs> so this okay. one being number one, so one, two, three back. Three. Okay. Um, you don't really do this, when I do this I don't line up, you just you think it's going to be that one. When you get used to it you just know which one it's going to be. But because they're all empty it doesn't matter. But let's give it a go. So, so yeah, what I'll say now I'll go over in a bit about rolling. But should look yeah. empty. That's good. So imagine you're on a supermarket, you might do some later on today in a supermarket. That's more realistic. But um big thing is when you go back turn left immediately. If you go back mm -hmm. and then turn too late. So okay. let's get that done. That's good. That's it. It's probably the easiest maneuver to do because all you do is that and then that's pretty much it. That's it, that's fine, that's done. That's still down for me for walks, that's okay, I was driving down the road. So is that line gonna be good or bad or I think I'm too far to the left. That's it, so we take a little bit off. That's it, come back like that and then put it back on when you need it. So as cross like now, turn back, that's it. Oh. That's good. And then okay. stop it dead. Straight in the wheel. Normally you don't stop and straight, but you should say you don't go beyond and looking where. That's it. <laughs> that's it. So it's really stuck in back as much as you can. I know here there's no one going to be behind because there's no walkway, well, there's no way anyone could be there. But you never know a lot of people we had before can run in behind us. And then see in the mirror you could come back a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then that's it just about then. So that's all you do. So <coughs> all that one was you the line needs to be a bit more um this way. Like an inch this way. But it doesn't matter, that's all you do. You get a line lined up. But eventually when you're doing this a few times, you don't do that, you just pull up, you just do it. You don't line things up, you just naturally do it. But if I say naturally do it, you can't because you've got to get used to it to begin with. What do you need to do to finish? I should. Before that, what can you do? That's it. That's what's the main thing, so if you do forget, you know, you're flying back. Mm -hmm. okay. So we do, when I stand that roll at the beginning, when you pull up for the bay, for the bay, you just pick a bay, you just cut down, no bay, roll, 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 then you break, then you stop. 
if you brake with a clutch up you get far too much power at low speed so it's a clutch down roll 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 when else would you do that because that's linked to something else you said you didn't like before today um, that, that, can, that can be what causes the problem when what do you say we need to work on when i'm like going up hill yep. so a big problem is if you don't do the clutch early enough that'll cause you to just struggle so it's clutch down let the hill do the work slow down one roll quick like that People often have trouble, it may not be this for a lot of people have trouble uphill because they keep breaking uphill. If you're breaking uphill, it's pointless because the hill's going to do it for you. So you just mirror, signal, maybe break a bit, but not too much. Clutch down, roll, creep, loads of time, and then balance. You should find you've got tons, tons and tons of spare time. So if you're going uphill, <coughs> you just clutch down, one, wait, wait, hold it, and then go. So you should be loads of spare time. If you haven't got spare time, then you're not doing it as well as it could be. So that's all it is. Do you want to try any more bay parking or not? Um, no, it's not. I mean, that, that's all you simple, do. It's yeah. very, very simple. You just pull up, steering, there's not much to it at all. We'll try mm -hmm. more later on if you can in the car park, a proper, like, busier car park, because this one's pretty dead. Um, you rarely do it to the right because generally you drive on the left, so you normally back it in. But it's just the same, you just turn right. It's actually easier because you can see out your side a lot better. So. Yeah. Um, yep, so we'll go for a drive, we'll do more of that maybe later on, but not the most important thing. So, it's back over to you, I won't say too much, um, but when you come out of this car park on the road, it's quite tight, you probably wouldn't have the clutch down, but if it's very tight and sharp, you just clutch down, brake, steer, get through slow, then choose a gear, and then go. Okay. You don't want to be accelerating through there, but mm -hmm. it's up to you, because I don't want to be saying too much. So, back to normal driving, I'm not going to go anywhere particularly, just here and there and everywhere, but okay. particularly ones that are uphill. So I should come this side, I think. Okay, so right, where are we on That's good. The signals are good because if anyone comes out, they're woman. Just keep much further, keep left, left. You must keep on left because you're on the side of the road. You must keep over here. So if you turn right, you're going down the side of the road. So watch what's it goes on. Good. And then can we get through? Yep. Just like on the road, you must keep left because if you turn right, you're going head on towards anyone coming down the road. Okay. Which gear now would be better? Good. That's good. That's where if you engage one, you get a massive boom, bang, because you'll be going too fast. So end of the road, we'll go left. Try some appeals to begin with, and uh, give that a go. So end of the road left. This one is uphill, so um, I won't go through it. So then you can really score well. I just want to see how it goes, and then if we need to, we'll work on it. That would never ever be too, no way, because why can't that be too? Because it's uphill. Yeah, uphill, blind, blind, bad bend, no way is that going to be too. Every time you come out one, much, much easier. Remember, if two, two's got to be clutch up, go, you can't stop. It's got to be go, go, go. There's no way that's going to be go, go, go there, because you can't see. So as I know, we do middle mirror, now two, or well, maybe one, but it's so clutch two. Then if you end up in one, that's fine. Because you've had time to try to, it didn't work, didn't work. But that other one, that would never be too. How did he go just straight out then? Because he, so, the person before me went quite a lot faster, so then I thought maybe I should do it. So if you go around about left, we'll go over that second. It's simply you can, but you've got to be more experienced, because if you're not that used to it, you can't. But can we go? Yeah, so. yep. There is a reason for that we're we'll in a sec because there's something you can't quite hit on the way which is making it harder for you to go. When we say never to, and you can but not now, because you, you've got to start when you, when you drive, you get better and better the more you do. When you get on to it, you can do too, but the way you did that one, you couldn't. If we go next left, and then we go down there and knock back the way. So what could be around the bend? 
name of the road? St oh, the station. <laughs> okay. So, probably not Stano, but whenever you get station road around stations, then it's always packed with park cars. So, where would you go now? I have to go right. That's it, but keep on the left as you go, and that's good. That's it. That's not a car park, it's like, let's keep really far left. That's it, then you turn. So, now it's much, much better. So, further on, but not this year, we're going to pull up and I'll go and I'll think about it the way you come out. A lot of it's just simply when you get quicker, you can do it in two. But I'll explain a little bit better than that. So they might not be anywhere for quite a way, but that's up to you. Anywhere between drives, I'll be fine. Like, if there isn't one there, just carry on. Because these are like these people could be coming out. Okay. As long as you're not blocking the driveway, it's going to be good now. Like, yep, that's it. Yeah, I think. It's a good sim as well, because who could see that? The, the woman you just got in yeah, her car. Good, that's it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yep, so, what is it about when you come out of that road? What was it that wasn't quite as good as it can be? And that made you have to slow down more. Than you might have wanted to. Um, I couldn't see so well to yeah. the. Why is that? I mean, this wasn't caused just by that, but what was it that made them go wrong? Uh, not positioning, how was you positioning a bit off? Oh, did I got <coughs> not? Did I not turn left yeah, enough? Because you don't turn left, you're going straight, straight, then when you could be looking and going, you're steering. So you are steer, look and go. When you use through there, you just do it quicker. Okay, this is just naturally what happens. So you come up to a junction, you do a mirror signal, bank, it's going to go to you, go. You do it so quick, you don't even, you can't even start in time. But for the moment, you can't do it quite that quick because you've got to get used to doing it. So for the moment, always one. It's going to roll up one and then go. But like the curb, you should only be about sort of that far away. He was like, not that far away because you're all going straight. So you're sort of going straight over. Um, so you've got to sort of turn more. But that one, just whenever you come out of the junction, it's going one for now. Mm -hmm. It's much easier. When you get more used to it, you can maybe come out some in two, but very rarely because that one was uphill, as I said. So uphill, two is going to struggle. So we're going to try the end of this road going left because the end of this road is on a massive uphill. So it's just mirror, signal, clutch, one, get there. Get the, the order it can change because it depends what's going on around you. If you've got parked cars or whatever, it can change. That's why I can't say it quick enough to say what to do. So okay. it's going to be sort of mirror, signal, normally clutch, steer, get there, then one, hold it, and then go. But yeah, there's no rigid order you must do it in. whatever needs to be done. I'm just going to put it on because it's going to be too warm with us. So, yeah, bend of the road, we'll go left, but that's up to you. I'll talk through it a bit, but um, again, this stage is much harder now because I've got to kind of judge what you're going to do, what you're not going to do. I don't want to help too much, but um, if this thing's going off, we need to, to fix those up. It might be at the end of the road that you're about to do it, then suddenly someone steps out, then you've got to change everything you're doing. Then they step back, then you've got to change it again. So you must also be able to change your mind very rapidly. But the best way by far is always come out one. Round, not roundabouts, because roundabouts are different, they're designed to be open. But pretty much always come out one, then when you get more used to it, not this one, the end of the road. At the very end we go left, and it's not a big hill. So, plenty of power. Because the power gives you that momentum you need. So we'll go through this one a little bit. We're just going to do normal stuff like mirrors in the window about that. And then just no gas, clutch down, stupid car, it pop, pop, place, down to one. Gas clutch creep, that's really good. So it's really early, that's nice. And then big, big steering if you can get back to the car. Massive turn, clutch down, start it. So you're deliberately not quite going to get there. Let's get to the when can we go? That's it. So if ever you feel like you're in there quick, it's no good. Because that means you won't have time to look. That one was a lot better. That car should have been part there, but it was. So if we go next left. So it could be around this corner with that, that truck thing there. Um, oh, yeah, that's it. So it may have been off, but these are all the things you can find. That's good. So we're coming this way. I don't think. No, we haven't been this road before. Um, it's quite, well I don't want to say, because the point of the other one is if you can, if you can 
down ahead. But what are you thinking about this road? What about the width of the road? It's quite, it must be because it's quite narrow. No, so, doing that. That's good. So your position there is good because you know when I was saying four, kid left, kid left. That there's a lot better. How would you know buses come down this road, even if you don't know the road? I mean, it's quite hard actually at the moment, but what would if, you know? Like sometimes there'll be bus stops. Yep, that's it. So they're not that obvious around here, but if you don't know the road, you're always looking out for bus stops. So it is very narrow for a bus, but you do get buses coming down here. That position is good. There's a postman who's come a long way. Oh, yeah. So, at the end of the road, or before the end of the road, what's that sign saying? Um, it's a bridge. That's it. So, end of the road, we go left. Now it says height limit, but whenever there's a height limit, there's often as well a width limit. So, this one's up to you. It's not position well. That's good. Because on the other one, that's what you didn't do, you were kind of going straight. That's good. So, quite a few signs. So, pretty bad this bridge. So it's nice and slow. That's good. What else is different about this road? You know, some of the signs about there. Um, I'm not sure. I think it's not one way. Yeah, that's it. So, needs to go. That's good. Oh, so someone could come the other way, but we need to pick up a little bit. It's highly unlikely, although they could. Um, yeah, you know, you're not saying they can't because they could, but it's very unlikely that they would. Because saying about this thing about junction, it's all about momentum. Like if you get to 30, you know, so if you go too slowly, you don't get the momentum to do a junction. You don't want to go flying down, but you don't want to go crawling down. When you get there, you're not, you haven't got the, the momentum to do it. So end of the road, let's go right. So, do you want me to go over this or do you want to do it on your own? I'll, I'll try to do it. Just careful don't sit before that road. Now this signaling, is that a major problem or not on that situation, on that exact situation there? Maybe not too bad. That's it, because no one's really around, no one behind, no one ahead, no one's going to care, but let's just try not to do it. Because yeah, last time was the other way, I had that car on the way back, over the left all the way down the hill. Oh yeah. Um, that's a big problem. Um, you can argue there because of your speed, it was obvious you weren't going to turn in there because your speed was too high for that. But just to be clear, it's when, you, when it's physically impossible for you to turn, that's when you indicate. So if we go straight on now, for example where that car is, we're not going to pull up, but imagine you wanted to pull up where the blue van is or something like that. Yeah. Um, the earliest you could possibly sit would be when... Oh. That's it, because I'd say it's been possible for you to turn down that road. So that's good. Maybe even a tiny bit earlier, like what That's it, that's good, that's it. So we're not trying to be too nitpicky, but you've got to be you know, detailed. Is he going to see us or not? That's good. See the instructor there saying don't go to the car coming. So what's going on there? So this is where we go through this tiny That's bridge, it. isn't it? Uh, we did this before doing a few times when we ran around. We're coming this way because it's uphill. But just keep going. Okay. What is it that tells you there you can just keep going, you don't have to go there. It's one way. Yep, yeah, so it's going easy. Okay, if something comes the other way, if you over plan, you'll end up never getting anyway. So left, then left at the end. Two turns up to you. That's good timing as well, that's nearly. That's good. Any chance of going? No, I don't. That's good not to go, yeah, because I'm bound with taxi, whatever it is, coming down first. I'll go after that one. That's good. So, if there is somewhere, we'll pull up on oh, the left. That's good. That's, it. that's good, it's just a time end. So, where can you pull up? Oh, sorry, there you go. That's because that kind of bay parking area is where your clutch went down earlier in your world. It's all over the signal though. <coughs> How could that signal be better? Like, it's good, but then what did you do at the end, just before you stopped? I took it. Yep, so you sound to everyone a chain, mine not going again. So you must leave it on so you stop dead and make a mutual. 
okay. and take it off. These are little things, but really it can make a difference. <coughs> you know, so I've changed my mind, I am going to move off. Um, so, that bridge, <coughs> what do you say about the bridge? There's a one way. Yep, so bridge. that's it. This is the kind of thing that it's hard to explain, hard to do. You don't want to go flying towards it because there could be someone coming the wrong way, but you mustn't slow down and slow down and crawl because then you were annoying anyone behind. So, you've got to get the right balance where you could still stop if you had to, but you're not slowing down too much. Um, there's no doing, there's no exact right speed, that was pretty good. If you're braking and braking and braking, you can cause more trouble behind you than if you just go, and that's fine. I know it is not impossible, someone could go in the wrong road, it's very unlikely, because to get in there, you've got to turn left like a full turn, and you still wouldn't even get into that road. From the other way, you'd have to do a massive turn and be going the wrong way. There is a little building like, like a driver like that where you could be coming out from halfway down the road. But it's all about the balance of probability. So if you slow down too much, you can cause more trouble than if you just go. But it's trying to get the right kind of balance. But anything else you want to go over so far? Um, no, that's okay actually. It went better than I thought because okay. I used to struggle with that. Yep. that um, at the end near the bridge. <laughs> That's a lot better. We try not to nitpick so we get every little thing because you don't have to have every last little thing perfect, but we just want to get everything as good as we can. Um, so let's go into the road left. So I won't say much again now. Uh, we'll do another five or ten minutes without me talking too much. Okay. Uh, if we need your window, then we'll be better. Yeah, I've got no. Sorry, that's your one. That's awesome. There we go. Let's have a Just put it up all the way. Okay. It's that one hard pull. That's it. So Next one, good. Well, if you put them on stuff like that, they go down a bit. If you want to just go one big pull. Okay. You guys are pulled away like one, one hard pull. Um, these are all things you got to do because again, when you're on your own and you test again, you might have to do all this stuff. Probably won't, but um, you, know, you might have to be able to put the windows down. We'll try that later on, a bit of sort of moving, moving and, uh, and doing things at the same time. Yep, so end of the road, we'll go left. I won't say much else, it's up to you. We'll go back and have a look at that bridge and get that a little bit better. A little bit more, more positive. <laughs> That's good. It's good you remember it just in time as I looked and said, That's good. You're not being aggressive, you're not forcing your way through, but you sound not quick coming through. Now then you just moved off. What's going on here? There's people turning in the road. That's good. It's not the one in front there, they could have just gone through, because they slowed down and gave way, but there's room there for them to go through. So it's like when you're behind someone who does it wrong, you think what you're doing. You know they've got now the braking with the braking. So they're very unsure that driver keeps well, pulling over. The kids are all braking and they're a bit sort of nervy on the brake. Maybe they'll move off again, probably not, but see the signals come off and they're going to move off. That's just what I did before though, was that about leave it on until you stop dead. Okay. You know, actually, well, these are all little things, very little, but if you add them all together, actually you have them really good. So that's really smooth as well. Okay, that was the other one. I wasn't being aggressive, but it didn't exactly help the kind of count through without trying to move too much. So you just get that right balance. It's very hard to get the balance between not being aggressive but being positive. Yeah. So end of the road left. Let's see how much you can bend left on this one. So that one by the, the station at the beginning. Being massive steering. That's it. That's good. That's good. See, that is a lot quicker. That's really good. What made that better is that position, because you're steering more, it makes it much, much easier. Yeah, that was easier actually. But a lot of times people put so much in the to look in, they forget to steer, and then you can't see because you didn't steer. So on this floor, we're not going to be aggressive, we're just going to come up as we are, checking the mirrors, 
looks fine. And just stage you are, keep going, that's fine. We always ready to brake in case, but very unlikely anyone will ever come the wrong way. So that's good slow down in case, but can we go? Yeah. Yeah. So you minimise the impact if it is going to happen, but you don't do it in such a way that you slow everyone down. That's good. So two lefts again. I'm just going to head to a different area. That's gone good, so I won't say too much. really turn left like I normally do when I go out well you know like you turn left a bit yeah I don't know if I'm making sense or yeah. not but it's all like a right angle it's not like a bend it's like yeah a right so it makes it harder that's it that's good because I could do so end of the road we'll go left again that's because he walks with the van behind he was going to come through so that's good nice and positive driving so I went to something again let's see if this can keep going well You can maybe tell there, when you get a comfy, you can start to do second on some of those because you sort of get to get quick around them. That's really good. So those are good because no one's around, so it's good to get three. Yeah, there's no right one, there's no exact time you have to do this and do that. But as long as it's safe, it's good. So the, the later stage of learning is actually quite hard because to kind of understand everyone's got a different style, you can't get everyone driving exactly the same way. As long as it's within all the window of safety, that's good. So, like on a test when you're on your own or with a sat nav or whatever, if I don't say, just keep following straight on. Well, I made that safe. I could see um, to my right. That's good. Because if all ones like that in the past we've done, but that would be mad if you did that because I'd be way too quick. But yeah, that was good. You look in, you go in, that's good. The thing when we do this is to understand you can't always go. Cause some people get the idea you can always go, you can't. You say you try and always go, you try and be positive, but there are times you've got to stop. Like here, how much can you see to the right? It's around the back. Uh, no, I can't that's see it. Very so, much. probably which gear? So, um, second. That's I think. it. That's good, that's great. Because if you come to one there, it wouldn't be as good. It would be okay, but not as good. Are you going to go for it? Don't There's one of those wide junctions that you know, we said in the past about those. Oh, yeah. And, um, another one of those. So we're not going to park here, but imagine trying to power that park here is where you'd have to kind of maybe. Like, how would you tell the people that you want to, that you want to park? So could you indicate? Yep, yeah, that's it. Oh. So not going to be, if you wanted to park in a blue one, you might be mirror. Signal about or no brake pull up, brake it in. So this roundabout lot to go ahead, second exit, back over to you again. That's it, turn around home. I used to see straight ahead, actually too. If you're not signaling, you stand on going ahead, and you don't go ahead. So I made that happen. Ignored the one on my left. Yeah, that's it. So, did you count that as the number one, the one ahead? Or did you know that was number two? I thought it was number one. No, no, so when you get there, this is one, you already have one when you begin. So you start counting from two, because you already have one, you've already passed one when you first go. So we're going next round about, right? So this is what I do we drive around, whatever comes up we work on. There's no specific thing like bay parking that we can do if we get the chance, but that isn't as important as doing this. So right third exit. I won't go over this area, it's all up to you. No. 
No, no, you got to see me slow down more because you come out too fast. It's so quick, you don't give yourself time to slow down. He does that man in the car who's standing and said, what you're doing is what you're going to go. Because you're coming flying up trying to go. If you can't see, if you can't see, slow, right down, slow, 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 assess it, and then go. Because you might not mean that, but the way you come up, you're saying to everyone, I'm going. What's behind this as well? The lorry. That's it. So they saw that, they came back, but if they think you're going to go, they'll just follow you and smoke. So whenever you approach ending, what makes you always assume every time? That I can't. Yeah. That I can't go, yeah. So you can't go, can't go, can't go, can't go, then you can go. Okay, this one about you don't just go, you don't just come up and go. Like with the one way bridge you can, this one way. But like this roundabout will go right, third exit. So how good's the view on this one? Uh, no, I can't. Right tell. Can so breaking, breaking, expecting the worst. Probably can't go. So breaking, 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 more, 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 more. That's two, can we go? I think, come on. That's it, one's good. Okay. That's great. Okay, maybe it was That's good. One is good there because he was to, but then by the time you done it, which was correct, it was one. Not something you can change fast enough and say. How can that be better on the exit though? Or when you come off, what would it be one there? Uh, I just did position. quite a lot. That's it. So still more left on the way out. Because that one is very um, bendy, you have to go right left a lot. You're not going to hit that car, but you're getting further to the right than you could be. So it's all big steering. That's good because it was second, but then when you did it was one. So you can change and as soon as you know, every second or two, you can change. So what's happening now? So another roundabout. Yep, so we go right on this one. How good's the view to the right? Um, not very That's good. That's it, so definitely breaking a lot, really slow, definitely one. Can we go? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's good, that's it, that's good. Yeah, that's the yeah. grass over there, because that black car can fly up. That's what I did, isn't that's it? it? That's good. <laughs> that's exactly how it looks here, yeah. you So that one, I chose one, because I didn't, that, I didn't know that car was there, I couldn't even see, because the view is awful, so just slow down one. You can do two, but it's just, it's on the level you're at. You're not that bad, you're not, you're not, you're not sort of learning from the beginning now, but you've got to sort of get better and better and better, and you can start to be more into. It's simply because you know the way the car handles better, you can do it quicker and you just know the way your car feels better. And when you drive the same car every day, it doesn't make a difference. You get much more used to it than you know, do not, even on two lessons a week. You don't really get used to the car that much. So like when I drove you back last time, I know I don't drive the same way I tell you to drive because I've been doing it for years, it's different because you, you can just do it a bit differently. So here, which way does the road go? Uh, I think it bends right. That's it. So, but not the one by the station. We don't move much. We try to all move left a bit after the van. Okay. Just in case someone comes flying down from the road. That's good. That's it. So, when you get to the next roundabout, we're going to go right, <coughs> third exit. So, what do you think about the view on this one to the right? That's it. So what would be, which gear would it be when you get there? Probably. That's it. So it could be two, but I wouldn't bother. It could be one better. So it's definitely one stage because it's such a... It's, it's better than it was, but it's still quite bad. Yeah, okay, okay, good. That's good. That's good. So you craft your massive turns. That's good. That's it. Straight on, is it? No, sorry. I don't know why I did that. So if you sit on there, how could that be a problem? They'll that's it. Right there. Yep. Did you get through or not for definite? Oh, I'm not sure. No, get back, that's good. So if you're not definitely sure in there, right? If you had gone through there, you'd have your mirror smashed off. Okay, But Actually, not too stopped there, no, is it? That's silly. It's cool, can we go now with the cars? I should be able to, I think. That's good. So the cars are good, because that truck would be too wide. But there, you've got to stop, then the handbrake on. Because you just pull the handbrake on and you're still moving. It's got to be balanced. It's always much much easier to balance it. I know I might say stop, but stop is always all balancing and stopping. Balance it, we can stop and make it, you can't do it both. Now with the white van here sticking out, we do braking, can we get through for definite? I think so, yeah. That's good. So roundabout ahead, second exit. So we start at number one, so you just straight ahead. Oh, right. This is it. 
tarif edin. That's good. That's it. So imagine this one, imagine actually because I imagine we can't get through, but we can't get through. This is a braking, keeping way back. That's good. No, that, that's right. Yeah, that's it. That's good. So ideally you never stop dead. No, it's always about to creep creep for <coughs> anymore. But if we go next road on the left. Uh, yeah, we'll go over That's a good example than people walking over. Because you didn't stop dead. If you do stop dead abruptly, what's going to happen probably? Um, the car behind me might hit me. Yeah, that's it. So just imagine on this road where that red van is, we're going to give way. So we're going to break in. Yeah. Almost kind of. Oh, very TC. That's it, that's it. So break in, break in. We're just all stop anywhere, it doesn't matter about drives. So imagine we can't go at all. So we try and roll. There's loads of cars, we stop dead, totally still. Then one. Then if you've really had two, handbrake, okay. then you will go. Because the other one you just pull down when you're moving. So, well, how does that damage it if you pull it on when it's moving? It must like scrape it on something, but I don't know what it touches. I don't know how about, this works. Do you said at the beginning of the first lesson is about how, how it operates, different to the foot brake. Which one's the one, one does the wheels? Is what? that the handbrake? No, that's an all brake. I don't know. So, if you go handbrake in each one, which go go back. Yeah, so the foot brake does all of them. See, brake, that's all the wheels, everything. Mm -hmm. That's all the wheels. That one is only a little cable, so a thin wire goes from there to the back two wheels. So, <coughs> if you pull it on at all when you're moving, it stretches the cable and snaps it. It's very thick, it won't snap easily, but even if I'm moving, I can't move now because that car's coming towards us. But even if you're moving at one mile an hour, that's too fast for the handbrake. It's got to be totally still. And then on. See, at the moment, the handbrake comes up to where he's there, that's fine. Mm -hmm. If you pull on your moving, you'll come up and up and up and up like it's snapping pings, it just goes. So, let's well, move very slow that car though. If I'm kind of rolling like that, this is too fast for the handbrake. It's too much too, it's got to be stopped dead, nothing. The handbrake on, like that. Okay. Um, because what's the proper name for the handbrake I mentioned before about? It's not really, the handbrake's like a slang term, but it's a real name, it's with a P. So when is it you use that for? When you like when you're completely stopped, yeah. isn't it? So the proper name is a parking brake. So it's only meant for parking, it's not meant for you know, driving around. If you look on the screen there, I can't show you this your damage car, but if you move with a handbrake on it will say on there parking brake applied. So you know, if you're moving at all, it beeps and says get the parking brake off quick. So it's just so no easy, the last thing you want to do is a handbrake, so you kind of roll, roll, creep, balance, and then if you need to stop and make up. Doesn't matter either way, you can stop, you can handbrake, doesn't matter, but one or the other, you either creep or you stop handbrake. You can't kind of roll the bit then and make up. Okay. Right, let's go and try some of those because overall it's going well. So I keep trying those up your roundabouts, so we'll keep looking at those. But there's no this back over to you, I won't be saying too much apart from the old thing here and there. Because that car behind wouldn't see it. That one backing off, they wouldn't even see it because they haven't got their out and they're going the other way. They wouldn't care. So that's why I'm trying to be too over picky because you, you can end up looking at everything. If you're too picky, you can actually make problems than there are. So we try to sort out the problems that matter from the little things that all, you know, they're not really that important. So end of the road, we'll go left. The road looked funny where yeah. it was um, sort of. So, Sammy, you can either creep, you can stop, and by it doesn't matter. It's just up to you as long as it's safe, it's good. So go okay. That's good, that's good. So, I feel stuck connected, it's all joined up, it's not disjointed. So, next roundabout, let's go left to first exit. We're not going to stay on here for too long, but we're just going to try um, a few of these roundabouts. That one is really open. The other one by the BP garage is open. It's got an open issue, but it's not brilliant. Because it's fairly open, but there are trees in the way. So this roundabout ahead, third exit. It's back over to you. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. 
Okay. Okay. No. No, it's okay. That's good. That's good. That's fine. No, that's not two, is it? No, no two, three. that's two. Down there. That's three now. He's got counts of one, two, three. It's just like the count is off, because this one is ahead, so next year. This is ahead, because you can't have the road, you was exactly opposite the road, straight over. <coughs> so they've had this problem from the beginning, it's, it's, you can't sort of tell ahead. It's the head is just straight ahead, that's all it is. If you go around anymore, that's right, that's not ahead. If you go that way, you'll be signaling right. If you go left, that's left. If you go on that way, it's just straight ahead, straight over. It's no different to this roundabout, right exactly the same, different shape and sanding. So I'm going to go ahead on this one, second exit. So this one, I was mentioning where the view is okay, but not brilliant. So to get it better than before, we're sort of slowing down a bit. Try to second about now. Is that going to work or not? Um, I think not. That's good, that's better. That's, better. that's good approach. That's good. So when can we? the roundabout hearts before is that you, you accelerate and got to third just before the roundabout there's no point doing that. That one we said ahead third exit, you picked up about three, there's no point. If you, if you know the roundabout's coming up, don't bother. Okay, you're not doing it bad, you're getting there, you're slowing down, it's just a, that's the, the problem is you're accelerating towards things you should be slowing down. So if you, if you know the roundabout's coming up, like say if here we said roundabout ahead, you wouldn't speed up, don't change up. You just want to keep it the same, if anything you need to slow down, come down. So we'll go back because I want to go in the directions, but the head is just ahead, you just go straight ahead, that's all it is. Because I'll say that because that's how simple it is, if you overcomplicate it, all you're doing is going ahead, that's it. So that one, why did you put the clutch down then? Because when you were around the corner, you just put your clutch down. Uh, I thought maybe I was doing it too quick. That's fine. All we got to do is go. That's it. Because so everything you're doing is spot on. You just put your clutch down for no reason. You just made it slow down. Okay. It's all the roundabout, it's when you said you lost it. Nothing was wrong at all. You just do it. Oh, okay. There's a lot of things you're doing, things you just don't need to do. It's not that you've got to learn what to do, it's just you've got to stop doing things you don't need to do. Like there, you just go around the bed in two. That's it. So we say roundabout ahead, just go ahead. That's it. Yeah, how can that be better? Because the sanding is around about, so how can that be better? Um, should I have slowed down yeah, sooner? You're just going too fast, you're flying towards it, you've got no regard to car control, you're just not slowing down at all. You've just you got to slow down while you approach, because you're going towards things too quick. You've got the mirror, slow right down, slow down, get there, look at it, and then go. Because that car, there was no room to get through at all, you're squeezing yourself up against the park car. All you gotta do is all slow it down, keep it back, then when you can go, then go. So the ones where you can go, you stop in, and the ones where you gotta stop, you're going. So that corner, you can just go around the bend, you stop in, and that one where you gotta give way, you're going. So I know we can't see, so do mirror, breaking down a second, give way back just in case, and then roll could probably go, but yep, that's it. If someone appears now, we're sort of still ready to pull in if needed. It's all about what you can see, you can't see, so right down, take it easy, don't go. So I know if a car can pass these cars, you would brake, stop way back, sort of like, sort of here. So that one pull it up, is then I'm going to come around that car. Uh, oh, I see a car. Yep, so if you're oh, way okay. back, no one at all, that's good. That's it, and then, oh, where's that car? Oh, I don't know, I saw one. Where did oh, it go? That's good. That's right. 
I didn't see one, but if you still saw one, it's good because you think see it, and you yeah, might be pulling up somewhere. Maybe. I think I saw it in the reflection of the car. Yeah. I don't think it was actually there. See, that's okay. better because you're slowing down. Well, even if you don't, there isn't nothing there, that's fine. Because you've got a good reason to do it. If you think it's an awesome one, that's fine. So, end of the road, we go left. It's like here, it's, it's possible to come out in two, but very difficult. But looking early, could you maybe come out in two? Uh, maybe. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. That's fine. That's good. That's good because the view is good, nice and open. That's fine. So that one if he's wide open, that's good. So as long as you're looking early, it's fine. Okay, no, not third. That's the answer. So <laughs> round about ahead, second exit. So really open view. Can we stay in two and just go? Yeah, I think that's it. That's it. So we come in. Let's go for it. That's good. Yeah, that's good. So it's when you when you're doing it the wrong way around is when you can't see and you're going fast. When you can see, you're slowing down. So it's got to be the way around. So if you can see, just go for it. If you can't see, slow right down until you can. Okay. So the one we thought you saw the car, it doesn't matter. That's better than going through then, you know, then not seeing it. Yeah, I think it must have reflected off the other car. I don't think I'd ever snatch a car. <laughs> I didn't see one, but you if you say you did after that, because you do it on the better side of the car, you can see it a bit further. So, <coughs> what's coming up now? So, there's a roundabout, but everyone's stuck, so I'm going to have to come down in a minute. That's it. Okay, maybe now. That's good. One. That's it. Yep, yeah, that's fine. See, it often doesn't matter which one you do one, two, it doesn't really matter as long as you do one or the other. It's when you all get caught in two minds. So, roundabout right, third exit. So I noticed one before, we see it's slightly wonky, because when you go around, you have to steer a lot. So, any chances of going? Uh, wait, oh, yes, okay. Why not? Okay. Oh, bike. Okay. Now, maybe he won't go, but maybe, oh, yeah, that's good. So he's all nodded in his head, thanks for stopping. But can we go now? So, now I can, yeah. can go. That's good. Okay. So when you come up, it's all big steering. That's good. So, did you just see that bike one? No. no. So, you must see him because he, he didn't go because his bikes were often careful because you know, cars often don't see him, drives often don't see him. But because he's there, we have to keep right. He didn't go straight away because he was waiting for that car on his right. But then that car let him go and he's all nodded, saying thanks, which means he's probably been knocked off before. Because a lot of cyclists they have that problem where they pull out and people just don't see him at all. Like now, that bike there, they're so easy to miss because you can't hear them. Yeah. They're quite those because it's got light flashing there, which is good. But um, it's really easy to miss them. So roundabout right, third exit. Sorry, second exit. Two exits on this one. So that's okay. So that's good, but that's as fast as you'd ever do that because that's quite quick. Not too quick, but it's quite quick. Because that's the one before that black car can fly them. Yeah. So until you can see hundred percent right the way down the road, don't come into again. What you don't want is when you get in, can I go, yeah, that's no good, it's got me, can I go, good long look, yeah, now I'll go. It's like if this was a roundabout where that, the kid on the right just got on his bike, the sort of smaller kid in the red top, if this was a roundabout, easy, you could see miles around you, a long way around, you can just stay in three or whatever, go. Well, see, the one bad there, you can't do quite that quick. So if you don't drive according to where you can see, that's when it goes wrong. So, when you get to the next roundabout and go right to third exit. We might pull up on this road actually before that. Let's just see if we pull up. It's if someone will pull up, if not, we'll carry on. That's up to you. So, I'm just going to go this diagram of that, um, you know, that gear is, is not quite unusual, it kind of popped out. Sometimes it can be like that, and you kind of, when you've been in the clutch, it kind of bobbles like that, it kind of bobbles in the middle. So, I was making sure it's like that. Okay. And then, good job. It was in, but I just saw the corner of me, I kind of bounced like that. Sometimes, like, when you go into one, it can not quite go in, and it jumps back out, you, you just try and put it in. So, this is that roundabout we had. So we did it from this way, so if you're going straight ahead, way straight ahead. From there, without the knowing the exit number. This yep. one. Straight on. It's really easy to go around, going down there, which isn't ahead. That'll be a right, 
which will be the fourth exit. Now it's easier from above, but all you got to do is just straight. So you come up, where are the exits are, where is exit one exactly? That that's it. one. That's good. Because that's good you said that, but not there, because why is that not exit two? Because um, it's a different bit of the road. Because there's the line, so you can't, that's yep. like, that's not right. <laughs> so we all say exit number two, it's exit one. You can't go off that way, so no exit. Exit two, exit three. So that, just, just say for example this isn't the case, imagine that one had a no entry sign, mm. where will the third exit be then if you're coming from this way? Yep, that's it. So the third road isn't always the third exit, but for the moment it is, because there aren't any around here. Well there is one actually later on we may do, by the way I mentioned the shop, we can do the, the bay parking in. Um, there are some times when it's ahead, second exit, it's the third road with the second exit. So that's where you go by exit numbers, exit numbers. But if you're going ahead, just keep going straight over. If you're here as well, what weren't you doing that means you can't go around there? There's something, no, not wrong, this is correct, but you weren't doing something. Oh, I should have been signalling right. Yep, so we didn't have to because you weren't going right, but if you, if you wanted to go that way, you'd have to be signalling right. So you can't just come out there and go round and round and round because you weren't signalling right. So if you're not signalling, you're saying, I'm not going there, I'm not going there. And you could be going there or there, there's two options, but just straight on to that exit. But that can make things more complicated. All you really gotta do is you go in ahead, just so just go ahead. That's it. Right, so we're going to try that one again and then we'll get back to some more sort of open roads and whatever. There's nothing we have to do so whatever comes up is what we do. Okay. But um it's about slowing down the approach, slow down, have a good long look. You've got to be able to start from here's that blue car. If you can't see at least that far down the road to the right around the road, don't go. Okay. What you don't is you come up, you look, you have a good look and go too late, you don't have time to see. All that car so you're keeping way back for the bus, you're going to turn anyway, but you're keeping way, way back. So the more back you keep, the better, but not so much that you're stopping when you could be going. Just getting the right balance between the two. Ready? So let's go and give that a go. So we're not really changing anything here, we're just kind of altering a few little things, but not, not really changing the way that we do it. Too high, tight. So then what could you do as well for the car? Um, signal. That's it. This is all the awareness we're building up. So it was good when you first started going to send up car BS signal. Okay, not the most major problem because you didn't even really care. But roundabout right third exit. So how much does the right can you see right now? Not. That's it. So this is always in one, no way two because you can't see anything. So cut your braking so right down, definitely one. That's it. Then we decide when can we go. So I'm going around that black park car, so yeah. we can definitely go. Yeah, I can go. That's good. So I think you just saw it, which is uh, the most important. That's good. What I mean by that is you can do it better by not going and breaking again, but the main thing is you did actually see it. So can you definitely 100% get through past these cars? At the minute. Yep, that's good. So we go, that's it. So if a lot of it now, that will probably hold back because it weren't there when we went. But now he's going to come out and he's going to see us. That's good. That's good though because you're acting by braking. That would be bad if you just assume he's going to see us. Now what could happen with this white van? So there could be something around. Uh, that's good. Yeah, that's great. That's good. I need to go the way now. That's good. That's great because it's nice, nice and slow. So roundabout, we're going to go ahead, second exit this time. Okay. So good or bad view? From, well, then not so good. That's it. So it should be in. So that's good. We're coming again. That's good. Yes, I can go. That's good. Someone's going go, 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 go. That's it. That's it. So it's good to go as long as you get on with it. But the thing is, oh, if you try to head to that, like two, then one, or whatever, you've got to make your mind up and go. That's good. Okay. It's the same for about a junction. Um, you just got to be positive and go. But like, I can't teach that, you just got to get it through practice. So, like, now, keep it way back. Can we get round? Yeah. Yep. Round about the head. Can we get over? So now, when can you definitely pass this black car? At the moment we can't tell, but when can you definitely get through? Um, I can see yeah, That's good, that's it. So on the roundabout approach, there's a way to think, can I go? Yeah, I'm going, that's it. But is he going to stop? No, so mirror, brake, way back, braking hard, 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 hard. Down to two, better off going. That's it, that's what you want. That's got to be like pre-programmed in your mind, so you do it without thinking. As soon as that green car didn't stop, you'd right, brake him, slowing down. If you don't do that immediately, it all goes wrong. 
Yeah. So I hear mirror, anyone behind? Yeah. Yep, come and get through. Yep, go, done. That's it. You might just have to keep away if someone comes the other way now, but you've got to be ready to it stride away. So it could still break that car, should give way, they're going to. Yep, so we go. End of the road, we go uh, left. I don't stop my car to Oh, yeah, sorry. Terrible view, I'll do it again. See, as I look at left, we could be much, much more left. Not now, but when you come in, you're in much tighter. So, roundabout left, first exit. So, good or bad view? Um, not so good. That's it. So, standing one's fine, it's good. Who's going to block if anyone? Uh, sorry, I can go. That's good, that's it. So, we didn't need a block, that was good because we had a good chance to go. Silver car. So that's good. That doesn't affect us, but it's just that's why if you don't speed up, you know, it's, uh, if you get someone behind you going too fast and you don't speed up, you need to get hit. So round about left, can I put more effort into the steam and see if you get more left? Because if you don't do that as well, then you can't see as well. Because if you steer left more, you'll be able to see better. So the gear doesn't matter, it's good you're not know, braking, steering. You can stay in three mode because the view's pretty good, but can we go? That's good, that's fine. That's great. So I said, we're not being aggressive and positive. Look and we're going done. That's it. If you slow down or go too fast either way, it's no good. But I know with that bike, so you're going to go around. No, if he had moved around, been braking, braking, keeping back. So I know what's going to slow you down further on, maybe. Um, so, a bit of a like, jam and the bus. And that's the it. So if that bus moves off, maybe slow down because it's quite narrow. Probably not because you're not even moving off just yet. So it's no. But this is okay. So roundabout left first exit. So how good's the view at the moment? Oh, okay, yeah. That's it. So because it's pretty good, I can just keep it in me. So it can be in so good. That's it. Can we go? Yeah, thanks. That's good. So next roundabout ahead, third exit. This is before you got third. Now you could get third, you're not wrong, but there's not much point if you're going to go ahead. Okay. It sounds a little bit awkward, but there's no point going up and then coming back straight away. So just ahead, third exit, I won't go over it, it's up to you. Okay. That's good, that's pretty actually looking around much better. that much better on the approach? Um, I think I looked more so then I could stay in two. Yeah. How could you position better now? A bit more left. That's it. So we didn't come through, that's fine. We're not blocking them. But you sound lucky if you want to come through. You can. Yeah. What gave you um, the time to look more? What made you have more time? Because I wasn't in the third time. Yeah, that's it. That's it. You slow down, look to it better, gives you more time. So roundabout, when you go towards Cottage, which way is that? That's it. So back over to you, I won't so much. That's good, you avoid that so much. First good, that's it, because two would not work. Driving well, it's easier because you just flow, it naturally happens. The one before always said, Why did you put the clutch down? Because you're doing it well, you just keep going. And a lot of times, you just keep going, keep going. It's a lot easier. But that doesn't mean you can just always go. This is what you're saying. You can't just always go on a junction. But is that car going to go around the bike? Yeah, That's good. So. But if you had it done, you know, we could have maybe braked or moved or whatever. What you don't want is where you don't even think about that, the car goes round, then you see it, then you bait too late. It all kind of happens too quickly. So, we're going to go and do now more like that, more similar kind of things. It's going to like, you know, roundabouts on hills. We're going to follow signs for Kings Norton and Birmingham, so just keep following those signs. 
for as long as you can. So if I won't so much, if you're not sure every day, but otherwise it's up to you. Not the signals goes on, because you didn't do two signals very good. So back over to you. That you can there go into, but that's good to come down to one because that's a very small chance to see. Okay, the more you drive every day, you would naturally get more and more used to it. You can feel actually I'm going to there, but that's good for now. That stretched thing around that the other way, didn't it? Different one, but stretched, stretched hammer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, following Birmingham, just let me know which way it's going to be. And also, how you're going to do it in terms of lanes and direction and kind of thing. Okay. Uh, I think that was going to be straight. That's good. Yeah, okay. Let's switch lanes, uh, you reckon? So, left of my car. That's good. Which I think I can. You said I did it now, what were you thinking about there? I could have maybe done it in third. That's it, but what's going on here? The, I don't what know. Do you do I don't know. Oh, move, let's go. So it's in the mirror center, let's go. Please park okay. on your stride away. As soon as you see a mirror center, leave stride away. So if you don't move quick, everyone behind you will. You get stuck. Okay. Yeah, but third on that roundabout, you could have done, but not wrong to do two, so that's okay. What's the speed, mate? Well, he's just standing sign for them. So you must have sign because you're saying 40 just went past him. So you can get four to all right whenever possible. So the roundabout is good, but you've got to come off our park car, mirror signal going, move 40 going. Because like you're still sitting in the left lane doing 30, what does that look like 21 behind you? Well, if you're not 25 or 30, what's that saying to everyone behind you? Um, they should go around me. Yep, it's like you're saying pull up, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull in, go around me. But you're not doing that. Because you're doing park cars, mirror signal, get out of the way, go. So we're not going to go right now with our black eyes, but if you were, you were sitting right now, but we're not. So what's going to happen behind when these lights change, maybe? Um, what's that? What's going on? They, they want to go. That's it. That's good. It's a good speed though, because he's holding back on me, picked up well. Is he still holding back or not? Yeah, he's That's good. Me. That's it. That's good because if you hadn't sped it then, that's when you miss with the right lane, you should be going quicker to overtake. What's the speed now? 30. That's it. Yeah, that's it. So it's just about planning ahead. The more you plan ahead, the easier it is. Down the hill, you're rolling down to 30 because as soon as it gets to the bottom, you get to full straight away. It's not much gas. But I can't see the speed of the game, which is not too much. So, the way, what you can't do is you can't react, you can't decide so now what's going to go on or something. That's good. So, without rushing, we're now going to get back third and fourth as soon as you can. It just feels a bit quick. Yeah, okay. Is it like, does it need less gas in four? Or is yeah, that's what you get for, you do four, no much gas at all. That's how it you four, you roll, so you don't burn the fuel. Okay. So roundabout right, third exit, it's up to you. This is a tight one, but we're just trying to get the first possible chance. Oh, so I need to win this lane. That's good, when can we go? Yes. That's good, that's great. Third. That's it. That's good as well because the gear isn't as important. I think it's always at least a more thing. If you did in the gear then you could have lost control and not signalled. That would have been horrible. 
What you want to do is when you move off, try and get second before you steer. So you move off to then steer around the roundabout. Grab down the bit, I'll do a, a diagram of that. I was going on ahead, but that car's already turned. What else is going on there? Never That's it. That's it. Let's get right over. So I want to do you on a sort of stop. Because if you go in, you could easily stop there and we're going. Oh, okay. It's other thing, you got to see this coming in the whole back sheet. You're going in things really quick. As soon as you realize, mirror and brake slow right down. If they hadn't seen you then, they'd gone straight into you. So whenever you see a hazard, you've got a mirror and slow down. Because the problem is, you're either not seeing it or you're not slowing down at all. Yeah, okay. I saw it, but then I thought they're in. Are they? So if we go round about left first exit. Okay. So I hear the view's good. Could you carry on? Uh, if they're going right, you still can't go because even though they're going round, they could, they could come across our lane. That's good. Now another car reversed in that shooky vibe. The thing is, people might don't just back off and hit you because they'll, they'll say, oh, "What's going to come off?" Oh. That's it. Yeah. Don't just start riding and stop, you know, because you could have easily mirrored brake and stop, is it? Okay. You, you must always assume you've got to stop, because there's too many times you can go, 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 go. You must always, always assume you've got to stop. Like roundabouts, cars reverse or whatever, you can never just go, you be braking, 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 way back, and then go, and you can tell for definite. So now roundabout, we'll go left first exit. So tell by view what must you do? That's it. When can you definitely go? That's good. It's almost better because you're doing slow. You're slowing down, looking at it, and then you go. Oh, this road, what could happen? Um, I could meet someone. Yep. Yeah, so ready to keep way back. Stop if anyone comes up. Not just because they come up. You've got to be able to judge and assess. So imagine you've got to pull up behind this blue card just in case. Can we definitely go? Uh, yeah, I think. Yep. So if you saw someone back enough to drive now, you move out the brakes, they ride down. If they see you and stop, then you carry on. But you've got to be sure they're definitely going to stop. So the other one isn't wrong, it's just that you can do it safer, or you can be safe just by being ready to stop. So I can hear someone cooking flying around a Tesco van, so this speed's good. And if you can we'll pull up on the left, it's not the easiest road to pull up on. Uh, probably won't be anywhere. But... No, I'll leave that. Sometimes it's empty down here, sometimes it's really busy. So, end of the road, we'll go right. We'll all pull up in a bit and go over that stuff, but it's, there's no way you can put the pull up around here. So, it's kind of front spin there for a long time. What does that tell us? The road. It's, gonna, it's been quite busy. That's it. So we're not rushing, but when they go, maybe we can follow them out. You don't just follow them, but maybe they'll be a big enough gap. Probably not, but maybe. No, no way. So it's been positive and not being aggressive. Could you know that? Yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's good stuff. How far ahead can you see? Uh, I can't see yeah, very So far. what don't you want to do now? So don't go to the... That's it. So I wonder if on the brake and you sort of say, look, you know, slow down, there's something coming up. Now again, you could get three, but I wouldn't recommend that because you'd have to sort of get three swerve brake, which is much, much harder. So all it's about stage, if you can't see, don't go. Okay. So, there you go, next road on the left. Where oh, I can the name Right. 
there's only one thing I'm bad at, like the beginning is warm with him long with the curtain, doesn't there? Mm -hmm. But we're not in any rush to go over. So it's when it goes wrong is when you're trying to go and you can't see. Or if you, if you don't see a hazard, that's when it goes wrong. So end of the road, we'll go left. But what hazard just passed us then at the end of the road? Sorry, over a motorbike or a that's bike. That's it, that's it. So, big soon. No, these are slow now because I'm bike, probably. Okay. That's good. That's good. I don't know why the van almost came through. That's what I said to you before about making it more obvious about keep back stop. Make it obvious, look, I'm not going to come through. That van was saying to us, like, get out of the way, I'm coming through. Yeah, you did stop, it wasn't going to come through, but so if you overdo it, it looks like that. You're just getting out of balance with not, not being doing like now with the bike. You would not go around the bike here, and that kind of front just about got you done in time, but that one is funny, if they go around now, it's mad. Because these were getting much too close to that bike, he's right on the back of him. He's still braking, he's too, too close to him. Where we are, this is much better. So next road on the right. Okay. And if we sit on now, if she looks over her shoulder, she'll see him. She may not, but if she does. This is not gonna back on. Uh, are we gonna move? No, I can't. No, I can't. That's good. That's all I need to do. Because being third, that definitely would have been better. Going too fast, or not? but the one behind that just don't think that's I can. It. That's good. Okay, no, that's good. That was the one thing to do because you could have come second and went, but that doesn't matter. The fact that you didn't try and go in three, if you'd gone in third, that would have been disastrous. Because what would have happened there if you'd have turned in third? Uh, you can't control it very well, can yep. you? As soon as you turn, bam, bam, bang, stall, and you probably get hit from anyone on the head because you're stalling in their path. So that one again, you just sort of a bit more decisive than two go, but if you're not sure that's the right thing to do, down to one, then slow down. So when I pull up where we did last time at the end of the well, that lay by, so you sort of follow around to the right, okay. and then you pull up by the firm rocks. Going back to the roundabout that we had the while ago and over, it's like 10 minutes ago or so, but just to draw this thing in. Because when you go back to the way again in a moment, and I want to go. So, the roundabout you want to have this is any roundabout, it doesn't always work on like minis sometimes, but this is the one where it's quite tight, the one by the green, and we had the exit side like that, and like that. So, if you move off from there, when's the best time to get second? Because I know you're thinking about it there, but that was a bit too late, so. Oh, uh, okay. Where would it be? It should be here. Or yep. So you move off, get second gear there, then you go. Okay. Because you can stay one, but what's the problem with doing that? It's quite slow. Yep, that's it. So it's something that can be down just because it slows you down, limits you. So you go one, two, turn, and then go. Yep. You can change any point you want. You don't have to have it. You can just say, I'll do it there. It doesn't matter. Where you do it, it's fine. As long as you don't lose control. But the other one, if you go crunch down, then you know, two, then signal, that's when it all goes wrong. So it's got to be more positive. So you go one, two, go, done. That's it. So. That's how I get. It's just about being more positive sometimes, but not being positive at the times. Like the, the car backing off, just slow down, put a sort of present danger in front of you. So you mirror, slow down, braking, braking, braking. But if there's no danger on the roundabout, just go one, two, go. So it's just driving according to what you can see. It's just like if it's open, go. If you can't see, slow down. But anything in particular on to work on apart from that? Because that's, that's really the main thing that's come up. Um, no, I'm quite happy yeah. just sort of driving around and. The other one with that dual carriage rise, like when you come off, what do you need to do immediately? Oh, you come off. I should have, yeah, I should have seen the cars yep. when moved right. Because it was a good yeah. five seconds at least till I said what's going on. So you've got to see much quicker than that. Because anyone behind you, normally I'd red on behind which go around you, and then you're stuck. I'll just draw this actually because it's worth worth going over. It's just you've got to be quicker seeing these things coming up. Because if you don't see it coming early enough, you won't get out of the way. So you come off the roundabout, but when you come off there, you could see the park car straight away from there. So you've got a park car mirror signal. Normally, that red one 
would have just gone round you. He didn't. Imagine not some one there. You used to like here. He held back, let you over. Most people think, well, you're going to pull over. I'll just go. There'll be streams of cars coming past, and you'll sit in there for ages just trying to get out. So come off the, the roundabout, like park car, move us in, and we'll go. We'll go and try that one again now. We may get to the bay parking, but I'm not really bothered about that. It's not as important. That, that's easy compared to doing this. So, end of the road, we'll go left. Too high, too soon. Okay. Now, what is just before the end of the road? We'll take the next left just by the side of the silver car. Okay. So, now looking into the road, is there anything at all blocking us into that road? Um, I can't see anything. No, so, we can enter, I mean, I'm still coming out still not as normal, but we can enter fairly quick. So, that's a second. Checking, nothing there, go for it. As you can see, so it's quite clear, so that's good. Okay, again, yeah. Yeah, okay. Good, nothing to our back for always good. So if you come out like that and you slow down, you say to anyone behind, I'm stopping, and I'm stopping. I'll come out and go pick up two, three, four, go. That woman, no in at all, she got there, no doing you go anywhere on the road. Because this whole road is obviously it's all been demolished anyway. So you can't kind of bend and go straight away, easy. That's what I mean by if you can see really well and you're not going, it doesn't make sense. And the ones where you can't see, you're speeding them towards things you can't see. So I know what's happening there. That was good because the bend's bad, and the view's quite bad, so that was good. That's good, that's it, because that's it, the timing sounds really good. So, what was the speed on this road? Uh, it's like a 30, no, no, so it should be 30, but it's that's not, no, it's 40. It? That's it, because about there, I know we can on the side road, you don't get the signs, but the, the main road, that's good, can we go? Okay, so that's good, go, 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 Okay, just go, go through it. See, so I'll be much more positive because you're confusing people because you're not doing it. You're signaling that you're slowing down, you're still going like that, go through it. You're confusing everyone because you're being so hesitant. You're like, mirror, go through it like that, just go. Because everyone's thinking, what you're doing is move, get on with it. So it's going, keep going. So when, when there's nothing around, you're slowing down, and when there's something around, you need to get on with it. It's just all backwards. So let's get forth now. So roundabout, we're going to do U turn. You see the cars on the other side of the road, you know they're there. So keep going fast for now, keep going. You should be in full to the whole way down the road. So we know those cars are there, we're not going to come off the left lane, there's no point. So go around, come off in the right hand lane, because we know the cars are there. So positive mirror, right. signal, braking. Right, down to two. Can we go with that bus? Nope, so down to one. Roll, when can we go? That's fine. That's good. If they're giving way, that's our car coming in. We couldn't see that, but we know they're giving way to stuff. That's good. So round around, around, back to where we came. Okay. So we do left, mirror left to the right lane, because we know there are parked cars there. Gas full down, go for it. That's it, that's the one in here. That's it, the signal comes off, go, 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 go. Get right up to 40, push, 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 push. That's it. So if you do that, everyone knows what you're doing. Whereas before you're kind of dawdling down the left, confusing everyone. It's much more easier to do that. So the more positive you are, the easier. That's only because you can see that we knew the cars were there from coming the other way. If you didn't know that, you come off in the left, mirror signal goes straight away. Okay. That's good, there's that bike, there's no danger, that bike's coming towards us, you can see us. So if we start braking there, there's no point. If he comes out, then we break, but he was looking at us, so we know he's seen us. So I know what that yellow sign, what's that yellow sign saying? Oh, um, it's going to merge into one. That's it. So there's no point coming back on left, because normally we start to get back on left. No point because he's merging anyway. So is anyone going to pass on the left? Nope, so from here, no gas at all, nothing. You won't need any gas the whole way down this hill, no bite, nothing. Okay. 
It's all about planning ahead, but doing this, it's easy. So you've done it all the way back there, which is rolling down. You won't need gas till past where the speed camera is. Whereas before this one, we've kind of braking, braking, coming down, going up. Whereas that one, it's better, it's just all done. Much easier. Next roundabout, we're going to go ahead, second exit. We're going to try and get the gear done. If we end up in one, we'll just all come down to one stop, move, go one, two, then go. First chance to come. If you can go straight away, great. We try and make it so I'm breaking about now, we're making it so we increase the chance again. So breaking back. Which gear now? That's it, can we go? I don't know. Is he gonna block or not that focus? That's good approach. So looking ahead at what's going on there. Well it's changed now. Oh the lights. That's it. So have another chance that's good, but when can we go? I'm rolling a little bit, man, I hope. What's going on here now? Oh, the big one. There's a big jam, okay. So, is that going to help us or not? Mm, no. No. But when it comes to I could go. Oh, no, I can't now. Okay. Um, I'm very good at this. I haven't really had a clear chance here, everyone's going to be one. Oh, no, I think go. Okay. That's good. Okay. That's great. So, I'll steer, second gear, mirror signal. That's it, that's good. So, that's much better because you had it all done. That's much better. So that one, even though it's time when you went ahead, so you had less time than when you went right, you still got the gear done and the mirror and the signal, that's all good. There's only one tiny chance we could have gone when that red car blocked off, but that was a very small chance. That's much better because you break in, break in, break in, then you go and you can. But always saying go for it, you only go for it when you know you can. You don't just go for the sake of going. Not quite the same as similar. Looking at the road ahead, what's happening to it now? Uh, oh, is it gonna wait? I can't see it just yet. Oh, yeah, it's gonna split into two. That's it. Course. Which lane's best for going ahead? If we want. Oh, no, wait. Okay, we want always left. But that's then... it. Left lane's good. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Why is there no point in being in the right lane now? Right is like for overtaking. That's it. Okay. So the other one, we had the parked cars, it was high speed, but this one, that's fine. If you were going right to the top of the hill, maybe you could. Yeah, that's another reason. But we are going to go that way, but you know what, I haven't said that. So it's good you've seen the left lane. So roundabouts, two roundabouts, right, both roundabouts. So what can we do? Um, if you need to go right, we can do that. Oh, I need to. That's it, that's good. That's good because that's nice and early on. Lots of speed now as well. Is that to walk 20? I see it, yeah, okay. So, right, both of them. I won't go over them. If you're not sure, let me know, but it's up to you. Just looking for the first safe chance to go. Yeah, good, good, good. That's good. That's it. So, wait. Oh, yeah, I see it. Okay. That was me, no? That's good. That's right. I don't think good, that car just pulled out, that's fine. If you ride then that's when the car behind goes straight through you, that taxi. That's why it's good. He pulled out but he didn't make a slow down that much at all. Okay. okay, not good on their part, but yeah, we didn't have to ride much. That's good. See, not everything you do is wrong, because a lot of times you say it's wrong when it's not. Okay. It's just a lot of it's good, it's just that the things are worse, so the things aren't as good, we get those better. That's good. 
So I want something to get now, the rest last for a half hour or so. I'm going to go do a little bit of the bait parking in the shops that I mentioned, uh, just to give that a bit of a go. That, that's not going to be important, it's quite simple to do. But just follow ahead, unless you say otherwise. That's got next that bike is easy to overreact and brake hard, but that bike is walking forwards. So I'm just gonna So it's like that Jeep, if he does pull out of the garage, you would maybe be you know, hold back, it depends on the way he pulls out. That's good. So if he pulls out quickly, obviously then you hold back if he doesn't. Not the blue one, is he gonna pull out or not? I think he's gonna wait. That's good. So that's different to the one before, because that one they're going forwards at night in the road, whereas the other one before was reversing and then we're in the road. So yeah. it's still our right way, still good to go, but it's just good to be safe. Just left to break right out. So it must be 20 by then. So that's not the roundabout, if you break too late, you're going through, you then getting the speed down. It's got to be down by that sign. So if you're still breaking as you get to the sign, too late, should we down before then? Okay. Let's go to that one and the right is reversing, is he going to see us? Yep. He reversed and suddenly went forwards. Oh no, this was not what I was meant to do. That's fine, that's good. Oh no, it's okay, they can get through, okay. Exhaust is the one behind, the one who's reversing and just pulled out fast. She blocks it one behind. Going next left. That's good. That's good. That's good because I was good there. Tight bend. The man walked out. So it's dealt with well. And next road on the right. It's coming this way because it's more challenging. The other way is very easy. So. Same again, maybe we'll need one, maybe not, it's up to you. Okay. That's good. Did I do something wrong with the man or...? No, that's fine. Okay. What do you think was wrong? I didn't, I didn't see him until I turned, but I don't know if I could have seen him earlier or not. He's walking over, you went behind him, that's fine, he's walked over. So end of the road, you go, right. I think scars are very close. Okay. It's the observation we need to work on the race with that, you see, I can't really teach you because you, you just got to see things coming. Like the man, you can see him walking from you know, from a little bit earlier, but not too much earlier. But when can we go? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, next left. Oh, yeah. Is that if you can't see this, you could slow it, wait till you can see. And then, what did you do now? Uh, should we? That's it, my back, that's good. So he's also saying if you can't see, don't go. So, so I know. Oh, God, okay. So any corner, if you can't find a corner, slow down, wait, one, creep, and go. There's another one there. What's he doing? Oh, he's here. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Okay. That's Is that the only problem? This one's got his spot there, your mirror is getting very close to those cars. It's all getting towards the end of the road, you're sort of drifting towards the cars like that. So I know, can you see ahead or not? Uh, what do you mean, isn't it? Can you see? I can't see to nope, the left or right. It. So just come up slow, anyone could come from anywhere. Okay. 
Oh. Just, just if you can't see, slow down. When you can see, speed up. Okay. None of these are good. Yep, go. Okay. What is bad before when I say go go is when you can see and there's nothing around and you need to work to speed up. So roundabout right, then right into the co-op. So how much can you see on this roundabout? Um, I can't see really from here. So I should come to That's it. Wait right, so you can see it all the way down the whole road, then you go. Two can see the whole way down, you can't go. Okay. So who runs out? I'm just going to follow ahead for a little bit over these two bumps. Okay. And then on the next ride right where the still cars park is going to turn into there. This is just like driving a normal, a normal road, so sort of thing. And then the end of the road here will go left. So how much can you see either way? Uh, with that bump there. I can see there's no one there. So cool. Oh, okay, sorry, so, I saw. So if, if you can't see, don't go. The problem is you can't see, you can't open it. Because then you're just going to stop, sort of straight line. Nice and straight. So you need to buy parking on the right. So just line up one of the bays okay. and each park like that. Okay. Okay. These hours on the floor, you don't have to go that way, it's just on the way out. That's okay. So substitute pick a bay and then reverse into a bay. Okay, so it's not gonna be it'll be that one, will it? Yeah, I think. Okay. It's the third one back. Yeah. But the, this is one, is it? Well you've got to get that line lined up because at the moment the line's not lined up. Okay, maybe we'll move forward then. Should I go? I'll do the next one then. Like, okay, there. That's it. So now which one's the third? That's one, two, three. That so one. the one before the black fence. Because this one by your shoulder. Oh, okay. That one there, if you can, has one, it's fourth. Okay. So if you can, has one, it's fourth. If you can, the one further back has one. So it doesn't matter which one, as long as you know which way, which way it's going to be. But it's going back into our bay. Okay. Um, so I'm to look around. Then we go to reverse. And then we'll do the full right, I think. As soon as I start moving. Okay, that's good. Oh, this is weird. The other one you could tell by the bay is opposite where we were, but this one and the bay is opposite. So let's just see how it's going. Can you see the line? Uh, should I turn it down? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So okay, I'm too far. So I should have been less right. What did you do? It's not to move forward, do yeah, That's it. This way up is this way you do. You can't always go straight in. So, just try and get as straight as you can. So, right, the left, and straight. So, just wiggle away from that line. Yeah. And then, loads left now. That's it. So, you've got the strands up. And then back from okay. there. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. That's down. it. Um, okay. Nothing should have changed. Which way Is that level or not? It's not completely That's level, it. so I need to be more level, okay. I think. That's it. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to go straight. Is that where we're going to be doing? That's it. Okay. That's good, that's fine then. So, yeah, this is quite fake because in reality you, you hardly ever go backwards into an empty bay. You just don't do that. If it's busy, you're going to be backing in between cars. So what we do is you try and, like we did on the station last time, you try and scrape the corner of this car here. If you're getting quite close like that, close to their corner as you come back, it's much, much easier. So if I draw this, this thing in, it, it's harder to do in an empty bay than actually in a, in a full bay, in a full car park. So you've got the bays like that. So there's one there, one there, 
you try and almost hit the corner of this one so you don't sort of do the line the line thing is just the way you do on test three you never really use that in real life you just pull up like that you don't pull up straight to you pull up an angle and back it in it's much much easier but the way to do it on test the way is to be straight back it in you don't ever do that in real life you just don't do it so you get an angle back it in so it's just, just one of those things yeah the other thing is just we need to work on where you can see but where you can see where you can see where you can't see because that band around the corner there if you can see around it that's okay but if you can't see all the way around it, you gotta stop creep creep pull and then come out so if Sam's on the roundabout like the roundabout back here you couldn't see a thing at all so as you approach you just gotta go slow slow creep and creep and creep really slow like that then when you can see all the way down the road then you go because you come up well but he's all stopped abruptly then you went again so you got to use it really slow kind of like if I do a bit of creeping now but it's until you can see the whole lot now to the right if you can't see at least from here to where the hedge is there you don't want to go so you kind of roll slow 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 then go when you're definite when you're sure you can go the ones the times when the roundabouts go wrong is when you're trying to go and you can't see well the other ones are, if you can't see it's all open and you're stopping so it's going to get rid of those. That is really hard to fix that because that cow is or whatever to get rid of because it's up to you and on me. I can tell what to do, but you just got to base it on what you can see. So if you come out of the car park now, we'll have a go on the way out because it's sand in now. If you can't see, slow right down. It sounds like that, that car's braking. That black car's braking, 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 braking. It's even signaling, that's good because you can't see the thing. So slow right down, crawling, go around the bend. Okay. That, the mini, that mini's going to come through, he's probably going to park in there now. Yeah, because they're going quite slow looking around. Mm -hmm. Talk on erratic path, but so if you can't see, slow down. If you can't see, speed up. So, what else do you want to go over on my back? Because that's really the main thing for me. That's all the really is that needs to be fixed. Yeah, I think you not. Know, I've been a bit hesitant on roundabouts because I haven't been entirely sure if I'm going at the right time or not. Yep, that's good. All the times you go is good. It's just if you can't see, don't go. Mm -hmm. That's when it goes wrong. If you come up, you can't see, slow down so you can, and then go for it. But let's go try some more. So we'll go. Out of here. Um, so even I know what's going on around us. Oh, does that calm? Yeah, that's it. If he's backing in farm we go. But until he backs in, it's good to wait. But yeah, it's anymore. Okay. okay I was never taught to buy park, I just worked it out myself. It's not the hardest thing to do. But it's just so at least you've done it a few times. Of course the, the problem is in your car, if you don't have the exact same car, you won't be the same anyway. Because you've got to find a different point. So it's good that you're looking right because anyway, these places are quite dangerous actually, car box. People can go flying out. So here we keep really far left, clutch down, expect someone to come to get really far left, really far over. That's it. Now we can see, now we go. And then left, and then uh, we'll go left and left. So it's really slow, can we go? That's the kind of speed you want, because that might feel slow, but that's how it's got to be. Oh, that's good. Hit the that's it, so we've got a little bit. That's it, and left of it, that's good. It's good you're aware that, because it's close, but that's just how it is, it's a very tight car park. And it speeds a lot better. That's good. That's good, the roundabout will go uh, left. So can we definitely go? Yeah, we can. That's it, that's good. I'm just going to pull up some boys because that mirror is still there, I'm just going to have to reset that. Oh, okay. Sorry. So, no rush, but anywhere you can, first chance possible to pull up. <coughs> then we'll, uh, we'll take that chance. No, okay, I can't do that, can I? So, let's choose your place. So, we're going next right. Okay. So, I can't see him, what do we do? That's good, that's it. That's good. That's really good. That's where if you try line two, I know it's not around about the same principle. If you try line second, that'll be really bad. That's good. So this view, I mean this road, the view's not great, so we can speed up a bit, but not too much at all. We'll all pull up in a bit, but there's no way to pull up in it, just around here. So where could somebody come from now? That's it. That's good. So as before I was saying, go, 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 you'll never sat on this road. Because if you can see, you go for it. But if you can't, so you don't. So we go around the bend, what's the massive problem there before we even get around the bend? Um, that car yep, so do do. is kind of in the way, so I need to yep, be stop. more Stop, that's it, stop. You can't see a thing, so you creep, creep, cool. When you see the whole way of the road, then you go. Okay. Yep. So 
Imagine if you can only seconds the card and you're stuck. That's where you've got to keep right back. And if you can see, when you can see, you go for it. It's all right, it's hard because you, you don't just do every corner the same, you've got to adapt to what you're doing to the situation. It's not the same for every corner. So if you're pulling this gap, just is that gap? Is that a garage? That's the garage. Isn't it? So we're getting to the road. Right. If you just stop at the end of the handbrake on, we'll do the mirror there. There's a bike up and talk about sneak it down there. So there's anyone behind? No, let's go. Let's go. It's good when it's there because the box was sneaking down. Okay, so go right here. So now the view's open, go, go for it. Tick, go, 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 go. That's it, because there's nothing to hold back for. That's why when the view gets good, you've got to go. Right away, but it's looking fairly clear at the moment. So, the right, so rolling down any chances. Um, oh, there's that bike. That's good. So, when can we go? So, yeah, I should That's good. Actually, it's so, there's a view good or bad on this road? That's good. That's good to go for it. That's good. Time is a slow, slow approach, fast exit. Unless you can't see that it's a slow exit at all. Now the one before we went in those tight back roads, we couldn't see much at all. It's going to slow all the way. It's like a good example of slowing down for the car, and then when you're around it, if it's safe, we go again. off a few goes on his roundabouts so these are quite busy roundabouts so these are not the easiest ones to do but we're going to give these ones a go so we're going to go see if we go around the other way now we're going we'll go roundabout right then next roundabout left so two roundabouts right the first left on the second
do a deep cover right as well then. Yep. And I'll sit on there, but again, right? Okay. See the box is down at the has gone in a big cars and blocked it all up. Okay, that, yeah, that's what so they should have waited yeah. outside of the box. It is a good to here, you definitely would, but like the one in front, it, it's obvious, it should be obvious where they're going. But the ones in the left, they often sometimes are trying to go right from the left line of the wall. Be up so, let's see. Okay. So, a new driving from going to one, then it's not easy, this, it's a very tricky bit. But I don't have any chance here, it's just too too much going on. It's good, just room to go, it's good, it's good. that blue one's got a bit in the way, but that's it to the next round about left. It's good lines there as well, you come off in the crowd lane, so I'm coming there. I think that's good, that's good. So that's a good, it's a speed now. So they're not easy, it's hard to do. You can control one more, that one by the green, that round the and then um, it's going good. So I'll what could be around the bend in this line that will make you move? Uh, like a pot. Yep, so could you move over straight away okay. if you had to? Yeah. Yep, so you don't need to, but if you did, imagine you saw one now by mirror, you go, because you've already done it, that's fine. What you don't need to do is see a car, mirror, too late, because then you, by the time you act, it's already too late to move. Sorry, so were you still going left? Yep, yeah, straight on. Straight, sorry. That's good because that's stopping dead, the now makes good. You see that bike the other way is going straight through a red light. It's what's saying about bikes so on that bike, it's just coming a bit straight through. They do have to stop but they don't bother and that's where they get knocked off. That is good. So that one behind hasn't even had to go around. He's like, okay, you're going quick enough for my lower back leaving. That's it, it's got sort of two to one. There's no signs or anything there, but it's just some merge, merge into one. Okay. So next roundabout, we're going to go right, which is the fourth exit, the one past all the shops through the green. When you stand there down there, you're not going because like before you sometimes you're like down there, but you were going anyway. That's a lot better because now you've got that so you're holding back. That's much better. Not knowing is a good thing, it's not bad to have doubt because doubt shows you're aware of the danger. If you have no doubt at all, that shows you're missing all the danger. But you don't have so much doubt, you never go. That's the so again, you know, just about balance. That's good. But that's good to go because I've got room to move over. That's fine. So, next road on the right. Back up to the station from there. But I'll demonstrate this one last time on the way back. Yeah, so okay. Let's see how this one goes. That's good. That's just what I'm saying about make sure you can see and then go. That's all about. 